Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So today we are going into the next part of 4.1. Okay, so let's have a look at our learning outcome for today. So by now, you should be able to determine the oxidation number of an element in a chemical formula already. Okay, and then the next part of this particular uh, subtopic is to learn about uh, balance equation okay so for today we are going to focus on the first one which is the chemical equation by inspection method basically you have actually learned this during high school so you might have an idea already how to balance an equation okay so balancing chemical equation so a chemical equation shows a chemical reaction using symbols for the reactants and also product okay so kita tak guna nama dia dah Maksudnya lah, macam kalau sodium chloride kita akan tulis NaCl lah, so kita tak tulis sodium chloride dekat dalam equation tersebut. Okay, kita akan guna simbol dia. So the formula of the reactants are written on the left. So the one on the left side of the chemical equation we call it as reactants. Okay, meanwhile on the right side of the equation is what we call as the product. Okay, reactant in Malay mesti awak say product should be hasil lah, maksudnya kan? Okay. And then, for example, uh, we have A, B, C and D here, okay? And then A dengan B, so A will react with B, menghasilkan C and also D, okay? So on the left side, which is A and B, is the reactant. Meanwhile, on the right side, C and D is what we call as the products, okay? And apa pula? So kat sini kita punya... Kita punya reactants dengan products ni is the one yang huruf besar. Okay, and then apa pula yang huruf kecil tu apa benda? Lepas ni kita akan tengok apa benda tu. Okay, so for example kat sini, let's say you have two copper atom kat sini, they react with oxygen gas. So ni O2 kat sini, so akan terhasilnya copper oxide. And it needs to be balanced lah. As you can see, we have two copper, okay, and then two oxygen on the reactant side. And then... As you can see on the right side, we still have two uh, copper and also two oxygen. Okay, however, it is a different compound dah compared to what to yang dekat bahagian reactant tadi. Okay, but it needs to be balanced on both sides. Okay, so the total number of atoms of each element is the same on both sides in a balanced equation. So, remember the one yang huruf kecil tu tadi, yang uh, A, B, C, D yang huruf kecil tu is what uh, it shows the relative number of molecules reacting. Okay, so this one is what we call as the stoichiometric coefficient. So, kamu akan dengar mis cakap coefficient, coefficient lah lepas ni. Okay, uh, and then uh, methods to balance equation is inspection method. Uh, so inspection method ni kita tengoklah apa yang ada sebelah kiri dan kita tengok sebelah kanan dia macam mana okay so inspection method basically the first thing what you have to do is tulis dulu the unbalanced equation lah and then you need to write you make you have to make sure that the formula for the reactants and also products adalah betul okay jangan pula uh, sodium chloride tu Kamu pergi tulis SOCl, uh, bukanlah. Uh, okay, it needs to be NaCl. And then even yang uh, macam uh, yang yang nombor yang kecil yang subscript tu pun, make sure betul juga lah. Macam kita ada aluminium sulfide kan? Aluminium sulfide dia punya formula is Al2S3. Kalau kamu tulis Als saja, then it will be wrong. Okay. And then you have to balance the metallic element first and then followed by the ions, if any, and then followed by the non-metallic atoms. And only then you have to balance the hydrogen and also oxygen atoms, okay? So you prioritize first the metal and also non-metal selain daripada oxygen dengan hydrogen. Last sekali nanti baru kamu tengok oxygen and hydrogen lah. And then you have to check to ensure that the total number of atoms of each element at both side, kiri kanan, it needs to be balanced. It needs to be the same. Okay? So in brief, uh, so basically inspection method ni sebenarnya, uh, kita ada boleh follow steps lah. Okay? Steps yang pertama, M, which is metal, and then followed by I, Ions, so ions kat sini specifically it needs to be polyatomic ions, okay, sulfate ataupun hydroxide ke ataupun nitrate ion ke uh, benda yang berkumpulan tu kan, polyatomic ions. So kalau kamu tengok sebelah kiri dia ada, 
sebelah kanan pun dia masih ada uh, so kamu balance kan yang ni dulu selepas metal okay and then followed by N which is the non metal non metal kat sini is uh, besides uh, hydrogen and oxygen okay because hydrogen and oxygen is also non metal however uh, tengok dulu benda lain selain daripada hydrogen and oxygen only then kamu uh, balance kan hydrogen and last kali oxygen okay so as you can see here miss panggil steps untuk inspection method ni okay uh, i call it as uh, mino step lah okay kita follow mino steps ni uh, untuk inspection method jangan pula kata nama inspection method ni uh, mino method pula no it's not mino method it is inspection method kita follow mino steps okay so repeat again if needed until both sides are balanced basically Uh, kalau miss kan, miss akan tengok metal dulu ok, balance kan metal kalau metal dah balance, baru miss pergi the next one ion, so kalau ion dah uh, balance tengok non metal, oh non metal tak balance pula so kita try balance kan non metal ok, selalunya kalau miss kan kalau miss balance kan bila tiba-tiba macam, ni step ketiga kan bila tiba-tiba dia tak balance lagi, miss akan check balik daripada atas semula ok, sebab mungkin bila kita tengah nak balance kan yang step ketiga ni dia akan mengacau pula Uh, the number of metal atom yang kita ada 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 possibility lah okay? so check balik daripada atas adakah metal masih lagi balance uh, kalau dah berubah then you have to balance kan lah metal tu okay? and then barulah sampai lah oxygen and then just double check lah always double check whether the left and right side of your chemical equations are balanced already or not okay? Okay. so kita tengok example okay, example 1 So balance the chemical equation by applying the inspection method. So what you have here is you have ammonia reacting with the copper oxide producing copper atom, nitrogen gas and also water. Okay. So first step tadi apa dia class? First step tadi adalah untuk balance kan di metal. So as you can see copper here is our metal lah. Our only metal in this equation here. So on the left side we only have one copper ion. Eh sorry one copper metal. On the right side, we also have one copper. Okay, therefore it has been balanced already. So we can proceed with the next one, which is ion. Kan? However, there is no particular polyatomic ions dekat sini. So you can actually abaikan lah. So you can proceed to the third one, which is nitrogen. Sebab dia adalah non-metal. Okay, so nitrogen on the left side ada satu. On the right side ada dua. So it's not balanced. So sebelah mana yang kita kena tambah? Of course the side yang kurang atom. Okay. So we need to tambah sini jadikan dua lah. Uh, so ammonia ni kena jadi dua. So kena tulis dua dekat situ. Yang lain tak ada kacau kan? So kita tulis balik je. Okay. The next one will be hydrogen then. Okay. So hydrogen now. So as you can see on the left side ada tiga. Are you sure it's only three? Jangan lupa. There is a coefficient dia dekat depan ni which is 2 now. So you have 2 times with 2. Therefore, then, uh, total hydrogen on your left side is actually 6, not 3. Okay. And then uh, check on your right side. Right side pula ada 2. So of course nak kena tambah on the right side lah. So daripada 2 ni nak jadikan 6. Bermaksud you have 2 times with 3 kat sini. Okay. So another coefficient kat sini. Adakah bermaksud bila kita cakap kan ni dua ini tiga koefisien dia adakah bermaksud copper oxide copper dengan nitrogen ni dia tak ada koefisien ada aja sebenarnya okey tapi kita tak tulis sebab dia punya koefisien is 1 okey for now lah 1 okey and then the next one barulah kita pergi kepada oksigen okey kita pergi kepada oksigen uh, and then is If you have a look at this, on the left you only have one, on the right you have three because three times satu oxygen, so three. Therefore you have to tambah sebelah kiri ni. Therefore kena letak tiga kat situ. Okay, and then just double check balik. Okay, confirmkan semula. Start balik daripada awal-awal. Mino steps tu tadi kan. So you check balik your metal. So now your metal dah berubah ha? Huh? Tadi mula-mula tadi kamu tengok yang step satu ni. Satu copper, satu copper. But now... Uh, bila kamu dah start balance benda lain now you have three copper and only one copper here so you have to tambah lagi copper yang sebelah kanan ni pula so, tiga kat situ so check kan, ok ada tak perlu lagi so lalu sekali lagi the mino steps so M metal 
three copper, three copper. Okay, done. And then you have ions. No, you don't have ions. So, boleh abaikan. And then you have non-metal kan? Non-metal is nitrogen. So, two nitrogen. Two nitrogen kat sini. Okay, balance. And then, um, hydrogen. So, hydrogen ada enam sini. Ada enam sini. Balance. Oxygen ada tiga sini. Ada tiga sini. Balance. Okay, so check step by step. So, perlukah nak kena sentiasa buat satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima ni? No, tak perlu pun. Okay, so kita tengok example two. So, example 2 ni pula adalah bila involve um, combustion. So, usually yang the one involve combustion ni, uh, oksigen dia kamu akan dapat dalam bentuk perpuluhan. Eh, sorry, pecahan, pecahan. Okay, so very simple sebenarnya, very easy. So, Miss akan tunjuk solution dia lah. Jadi, kat sini kita ada tulis balik kan? Kamu diminta untuk tulis balik. Okay, kita tulis balik. Kalau Miss Miss selalu akan bagi a bit of ruang dekat sini. Just in case ada coefficient yang kita nak letak nanti. Alright, so first thing. Methyl. However, do you have any methyl? No, abaikan. You skip to the second step. Which is I, ion. Ion, do you have any polyatomic ions kat sini? Hmm, tak ada juga. Okay, so boleh abaikan. So next one will be... N. Yang ketiga adalah N. Non-metal. Non-metal. The only non-metal we have here is carbon. Okay. So, carbon. Uh, right. So, carbon kat sini ada dua. Sini ada satu. Therefore, dekat sini kena letak dua lah. Okay. So, you have two kat sini. And then, barulah kamu proceed to the next one which is H pula. So, H dekat sini ada enam. Sebelah kiri. Sebelah kanan ada dua. Jadi, kat sini kena tambah lah. So, sini jadi tiga. So, now you have six H. 6H on the left, okay? And then now, you need to balance oxygen pula. So, oxygen on the left, you have 2. However, on the right side, dekat both compounds, kita ada oxygen. So, always double check, okay? So, you have 2 darab 2 lagi kat sini. Maksud sini ada 4. Sini pula ada 3. So, you get 4 plus 3, which is 7 oxygen. So, bila ada 7 ni, 7 is... Um, odd number right however kamu punya oxygen on the left side pula adalah in even number so usually kat sini uh, kalau kamu dapat je odd number which is 7 in this case so apa yang Miss akan buat adalah letak je 7 out of 2 ok sebab 7 bahagi 2 darab dengan 2 you get 7 kan ok so dah balance dah sebenarnya you can always double check balik balance dah so you can leave your answer as this way tapi kalau kamu tak suka nak tengok pecahan tu you can always uh, times with 2 supaya hilang the uh, pecahan kat bawah tu kan nominate, nominator kan denominator oh my god mesti tak ingat dah ok nombor kat bahagian bawah tu ok uh, so kita boleh remove dia by uh, darab dengan 2 tapi not only this one yang kena darab the whole equation you need to times with 2 okay so if you times it with 2 so dia akan jadi C2H6 tambah 7 moles of oxygen yang ni pula akan jadi 4 CO2 tambah 6 H2O okay so both are accepted if you want to leave your answer yang bahagian atas ni diterima tapi kalau kamu nak remove the pecahan uh, apa, bahagi dua tu so you can always times everything with two so yang bawah ni pun diterima juga ok and then example three ok so example three ni pula miss nak bagi the one yang ada ions tu lah ok ada ions tu so tulis balik kan Okay, so start with the first step which is metal. So metal kita ada banyak kat sini. We have ada dua kat sini. So we have, uh, kita ada lead, 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 lead. <laughs> Miss pun selalu confused. Lead, huh? PV is lead. We have lead and also we have iron. Okay, mm, so mana-mana lah dulu yang kamu nak balance kan. So lead kat sini dia satu. This one satu juga sebelah kanan. Ion kita ada satu, sebelah kanan pun ada satu. So, metal balance already. So, kita tak perlu kacau. And the next one is ion. So, ion yang kat sini yang ada uh, kita punya polyatomic ions yang kamu boleh nampak obvious is NO3, nitrate ion. Okay. And 
As you can see on the right side, kita masih ada lagi nitrate ion. So bila both kiri dan polyatomic ion kanan masih lagi wujud polyatomic ion tersebut. So kita boleh balancekan as a group benda tu. Okay. So as you can see NO3 kat sini, dia ada dua group dia. Okay, ada dua. Meanwhile, sebelah kanan ni pula ada tiga. Okay, so dua dengan tiga. So dua dengan tiga ni kalau nak balance kan lagi senang kalau yang dua ni kita darab dengan tiga. Yang tiga ni kita darab dengan dua. Supaya masing-masing dapat enam. Okay, so kalau macam tu. Hmm, yang ni tadi darab dengan tiga kan. Meanwhile, yang ni pula kena darab dengan dua. Okay, so kelas macam Miss cakap tadi. Kan kadang bila kita balance kan yang step yang di bawah. Dia akan affect yang atas semula. Padahal yang atas tadi mula-mula tadi dia balance. But now as you can see your PB now ada tiga. Okay. Yang ni cuma ada satu. Bermaksud apa yang kamu kena buat. This one the whole thing nak kena darab dengan tiga. Okay. And then your iron initially ada satu-satu kan. Tapi now your iron ni satu sini dua. Bermaksud this side nak kena darab dengan dua. Okay, and then kita start balik daripada atas lah sebenarnya, start balik daripada M tu tadi and then kita tengok balik ion kita ada berubah tak, uh, polyatomic ions tadi. So, uh, polyatomic ions kita masih lagi 3 darab 2 ada 6 kumpulan, ni 2 darab 3 ada 6 kumpulan. Okay, so itu masih balance. Baru kita pergi the next one which is non-metal. So, non-metal yang kita ada kat sini is only Cl. Okay, so Cl kat sini, Cl ada 3 darab 2, 6. Cl kat sini ada 2 darab 3. 6. Basically, balance dah. So, perlu tak nak balancekan whole pula hydrogen dengan oxygen? Tak ada dah. Okay. Uh, there is no hydrogen at all. And then oxygen. Tapi ada oxygen, miss. Ha, jadi, bagaimana macam ada oxygen kan? Yes, that's true. You have oxygen dalam nitrate ion ni. However, kamu dah balancekan nitrate ion ni as a group. Ha, dia bukannya dia punya individual oxygen saja tu kan? No. You have balanced the nitrate ion as a group dah. So, there's no need untuk kamu kira asing untuk oksigen ni. Boleh je nak check. Boleh. Ha, okay. Kamu boleh je double check. Kalau kamu tengok ni. 3 darab 3, 9. Kalau kamu tengok kat sini. 3 darab... Apa ni? 3... Oh, jap. 3 darab 3, 9. Darab lagi 2, 18. Kan? Yang ni 3 darab 2, 6. 6 darab 3, 18. Still, balance juga sebenarnya kamu punya oksigen tu tadi. Tapi lagi senang kalau kita letak nitrate ion tu as a group. Okay. So, yeah. I think it's uh, your turn now. Okay. For you to try this. So, I think semua ni senang je. Except for probably C mungkin a bit hard. Mungkin susah sikit. Ha, sebab kamu nak kena macam start balik daripada awal step yang minor tu. Okay. So, yang lain tu should be very easy. So, you can try this later on. Ah. Okay. And this one here, um, if you are always trying to be normal, you will, you will never know how amazing you can be. So, uh, try to do something yang out of your comfort lah. Okay, kadang-kadang kamu tak tahu pun kamu boleh do something more than what you know. Okay, so you are way awesome than you think you are. Uh, so, do try uh, something. Okay, so that... Kamu akan nampak, ah, oh, you actually good at this. Ah, macam tu, kamu akan, mungkin akan recognize skill baru lah untuk diri kamu. Alright, so I think that's all class. Bye.